I need you to resolve a, a quarrel me and Dwayne have. What is that? This is a yes or no answer. Okay. It's either yes or no. Okay. Are boners contagious? Don't you know that a bone is contagious, my friend? If I get one, you get one too. <laughs> <laughs> What's up in the web? It's me, Andy, aka Android, and welcome to episode number three of the Spooncast, where three or more of your fellow spoons come together to discuss any topics ranging from games, movies, and anything nerd culture. Joining me today, my right hand man on my left hand. <laughs> so I guess she's my right hand, left hand man, <laughs> the island boy. What's up, everyone? Also known as the Parisian Badger. Because the Badger doesn't even give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and to his left, Jay. All day. Party people. Party people. How do you do, sir? Going on, party people. How is everyone today? Good, good. Excellent day. By the way, today is Cinco Tres. Tomorrow, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. I see no we'll shirts. See, like, and I'm like, Guardians I'm of the Galaxy tomorrow. Guardians of the Galaxy comes out. Then what are you guys? Are you excited? What do you guys think? I'm actually excited, but I've been seeing some of the reviews, and you know, people are like, not saying nothing negative about it, but they're saying it's kind of like the same thing as Part One. I kind of don't mind it being Me neither. more or less the same. I mean, that's why we loved it so much. Yeah, I wouldn't want them to change it so much where it's like, what they do with a lot of number twos where yeah. yeah, take the prime example I always use, Men in Black. Men in Black oh, is they such took a great number movie. Two or number two. And then number two was like, what is this? It's a completely different movie. Yeah. But, they uh, said it was a number two. <laughs> <laughs> they took a number two of that number yeah. two. But now, nah, I mean, we're all here, Guardian of the Galaxy fans. Our reviews, I try to stay away from them. Like, especially before we see anything, because a lot of people have a lot to say, and a lot of times they're just wrong. Yeah. I agree. No, I like to see just out of curiosity, just to kind of gauge what I'm walking into. Yeah. Well, sometimes, yeah, I mean, in your case, you might go in with a lower standard. And come out with my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Although so they, they haven't good. lowered the standard on what I think about it, like I just take it as that's their opinion. Plus, they're they're critics for a reason. They, I feel like critics tend to go a little too hard on some things and start breaking things apart too early before they digest it. You know, because how can you really digest something that you only saw once? You know what I'm saying? Like before I start hard critiquing a movie, I like to watch it like three or four times because you know if you watch it one time, you're gonna mm -hmm. miss a lot of stuff. Unless it's just terrible. Like yeah, that's true. Like, Unless it's like Man of Steel, but let's not. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't want to say the movie I'm talking about. Let's not BBS this all over again. Let's not bring it up. That, that, it. That's it. That's it. You can't do it. We'll have to shut it down if we do. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I do agree with you. Uh, especially a lot of times, too, when I go in with a movie, especially like Guardian, or even like, for example, perfect example, um, Civil War, where the first time I saw that movie, like, you're just. The first time you watch it, it's just like you're just there sitting in awe that you're watching this movie finally that you've been anticipating so long that you don't really watch it. Yeah, you so caught I, the moment. Yeah, you caught the moment. So a lot of times I have to go back. That movie I've seen millions, countless of times. of times, and every time I see it, I figure something out new, and I see like a new plot point or a new arc, and it's like every time I see it, the movie gets better. That's how I am with it. Was great. I, I knew it was great. Some of I only watched some more one time. I loved the movie. I thought it was great. So far as Guardians, I remember going there. We all went there. I, went, yeah, I didn't know. We didn't have no expectations. Nothing it. about it. I thought it was going to be garbage. I was like, yo, I'm going to be hanging with my boys. It doesn't yeah. really matter. I'm just going to have a good time. You know, make the best of the situation. Going away. We're cracking up the whole Like thing. me? We <laughs> can't stop laughing. Yeah. I, didn't do no, I didn't know nothing comic wise. I didn't know nothing about Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. But before the movie, I did a little research, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I and, and, and Googled and looked up videos on YouTube to explain who's who. So I kind of went in there with that, like, okay, I know this character, what's happened, that character, what's happened, and so on and so forth. 
but the way that they tied it into the MCU yeah. and the way that the MCU made it work was amazing, amazing, amazing. I just thought that writing was good because, um, yeah. I mean, look, I remember me and you, we were joking about the raccoon all yeah. the next day. We kept saying the jokes on the raccoon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just funny, man. I didn't think that they would be able to make a movie with a raccoon and a tree. And a tree. Yeah, that doesn't even talk. Yeah. And, and like, at the end, you, you, you feel for the tree. Yeah, you like, you know, I, I can't believe they did. It was amazing. I mean, I felt like we were grew. <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll see. Um, definitely, we'll do our next podcast. I guess we can do a recap, a recap yeah. of it, spoil it if anything. I mean, by then it'll be yeah, people will be enough spoiled. time. It's Everybody already spoiled. They're it. already doing. Oh, uh, I don't want to hear anything about spoilers. Yeah, yeah, yeah we don't want. I will spoil it for you though. <laughs> um, so that is Guardians of the Galaxy two. Is any, do y'all think it's gonna be good, or you think? Uh, I mean, I can't. I don't. You don't have any expectations on it. I expect it to be good. I expect it to be good too. Whether it's gonna be better than the first one, uh, I don't really care. Like yeah, as long yeah. as it's a good movie. I don't want it to be. What I'm, I'm actually, what I'm looking forward to see is just Easter eggs. To be honest with you, um, like I, I, I honestly, the first one was good. I feel like this was gonna follow suit. You know, everybody said one thing though in in, in the some of the reviews. I said that it's a good movie. So that. It's fine for me. Like okay. I'm, I'm, I can live with that. It's, it's going to be a good movie. But what I'm looking for, and what are the Easter eggs in there? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm so curious about that. Like what are they going to name drop? What are they going to say? Are they going to uh, bring in uh, what's his name? Um, Doctor Strange? Is he? Gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like what's uh, Ego the Planet going to be like? You know, and, and stuff like that. So well, Marvel always says uh, they always do a good job. Put something yeah. in there, you know what I mean? And I'm also really curious about the end credit scenes. I want to know what's up. Uh, do we know if there's more than one, or is it just? I'm not sure. I haven't. I haven't. No. Let's not I even. Know. You know what? Let's just see it. Yeah. Let's just I don't see it. want to ruin it. I'm gonna sit through it all anyway. It doesn't yeah. matter. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like me, I'm just excited to see what's gonna happen. I'm excited yeah. to see the characters again. Like yeah. again, like I love the characters, and that's I'm, what made that movie that's so great. Too. And baby group. What yeah. I see in the trailers, baby group is <laughs> hilarious. But of course, the raccoons. Hilarious as well. I mean, I can't believe. I mean, I'm shocked. I don't know how they make that work, but I'm interested in the character. You know. You know, one thing that I was uh, seeing, I saw an interview that they did uh, with James Gunn and, and stuff like that. And you know, they're talking about the characters, and you know, they spoke on Groot, and they're saying that you know, you haven't even seen Groot at all, like at its full potential. They said that by the next movie, you're gonna see full on, full blown Groot. Oh, yeah. So are they talking about three or this one? Three. Yeah. They said that, because they already green the three. Yeah, oh, yeah. They said that he's got you know, of course he's gonna grow back again, you know, he's yeah. growing. So but that they said that he's gonna really they're gonna really show you group unleashed, you know what I'm saying? So I'm actually really excited for that. I wanna see what, what you're gonna do with group, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, well, I mean you might wanna get through number two. Probably. He's a pretty like badass character in the comic ever since oh, I, yeah. I you know, since the first movie came out that I started Researching them, I looked way into into the comments, and Gru is actually a badass. He's oh, just yeah? not like a tree, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just like, happens to be a tree. He's a badass lady. He takes. Well, you got you got flashes of that in um, yeah part one. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm anxious. I'm pumped up. I like the fight scenes where he like stuck his arm and like shish kebab. Everybody started slamming them around. That was that was tight work. Like, yeah, I mean, there's going to be more and more scenes of him like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm anxious, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to go, actually. I'm, well, it's funny. <laughs> Just call out. Everybody call out tomorrow. <laughs> we'll go watch it in the morning. It's funny, man, from the expectations that I have for the first one to the expectations that I have for this one. It's totally different. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Whereas the first one, I was like, oh, I'm okay. I'm probably not going to be that good. Right? Now I'm like, I'm pumped up. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to go. You know? I'm actually excited to see if it also is going to tie in to a Rat in the Rock. Yeah, I actually thought about that too. I was thinking, I'm like, is it going to... I'm ready to see. They might, know. might not. I mean, they might yeah, just they... try to keep it separate until whatever needs to happen for them to come in. But it seems like they, just from the look of it. Yeah. Because Rat could. It, it goes from like, yes. for the dark world and, and, and all the other floors are very like grim and dim to... Rack and Rock is so colorful. Yeah. It so looks like our life. It yeah. looks it exactly. Like it, it looks yeah, like, it like a lot of. And you know what is it? What's it to say that you know at the end of the day, the 
the uh, you know the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Ravagers. You know the thing is to go around scavenging and ravaging things. So the planet that Hulk is on, you know, is a is a, like a junkyard type planet. You know, so maybe they go there and exchange something. You know, the old bargaining and bar bartering. And stuff like that. Maybe I mean you never know. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see where they go. Where they I have go. a feeling. I could be wrong. I haven't seen the movie, but I have yeah. a feeling that they, they'll tie it. And if they do, it'll be amazing. I mean, they're good at what they do. Like I said, I don't really have any complaints about Marvel. Now, do you think they'll tie it in the plot point or like in the end credit scene? Is that what you're I think in end credit scene most likely. But if they do in the plot point as well, that'd be even better. Like that'd be like, okay. Maybe they mention something like, oh, this green guy or some such something. Yeah. Like the name drop. I'll be happy with some name dropping. Yeah. You know? Sticking with Marvel, um, just saw this today I, on IG. Marvel's Runaway gonna be a show on Hulu. I know nothing about it. Tried to look up something about it before I came here. Is that what, is that kind of like the one that they had like the cartoon on the, the network where they had the run? I don't know if it was them or not. I'm not sure. I, have to, I would have to go back and look. I'm, but, I'm wondering if it was them. It does seem like a. They had a cartoon on, on one of those Disney XX or whatever uh-huh. channels, and um, it was like it was like X Men, but it was different. Yeah, so I was gonna say it looks a lot from what they show. It looks a lot like you know, like X Men, like the first class type of stuff. Like when they're yeah. young, they're all, I'm guessing they have superpowers. Marvel is know. doing it though, right? Yeah, it is Marvel. Well, you know what? I mean. I might have to get a Hulu. I don't have it now, but because they do a good <laughs> well, job. You got to get it so we can talk about Rick and Morty. Right? Yeah, I know, I know. I've been, I've been a bad boy Morty. when it comes to watching it. The day we speak of that. Is it good? I mean, Morty. Oh, my God. Bro, it is amazing. Rick and Morty is like everything you love about the 80s. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The rap they want. What it is, it's a, it's a parody of Back to the Future. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You got the grandpa's name is Rick Sanchez. And that's another thing. I mean, he's got a Spanish last name. I yeah, yeah, know. yeah. I was thinking because the thing is that you don't know nothing about Rick's past at all. We just we just got a teaser, uh, the first episode teaser in April first mm-hmm. for the third season. And oh, it's already been two seasons. Yeah, it's been two seasons up. already. And they gave us like a teaser of the first episode. You know what I'm saying? Like on April Fool's Day, they let them, they you know give the whole first episode of the new season coming up, and. Uh, they gave just a little glimpse of into his past, but it's nothing that really makes sense. Cause yeah. Rick, in the show, he's like the most, the smartest person in the whole galaxy. Okay. He's actually the smartest person in the multiverse. Mm-hmm. Like there's different universe, you know, running com- at the same time as mm-hmm. ours, and he could tap into all of them. He could go into all of them. He's so smart that all the other Ricks from all the other universe made like a council. It's called the Council of Ricks. To try to stop him, because he's just like above and beyond, and he even as smart as how smart as them. So it's like he's aware of himself so much that he could trick himself. You know, he's what I'm so smart he played himself. Exactly. <laughs> you don't want to do that. I don't know if that's smart. So don't like, ever play yourself. <laughs> but that's the thing that it it, it falls it, 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 it like it plays. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it like. It's a great show. It's a great show. I know. Andrew told me about it. Like, the surface is just like a a silly show, but like everything is based off of like actual science. Like they, they, the creator of the show really made sure that they put actual science into it. Like it's not like that. That's like yeah, yeah. Everything they said is actual. It can actually happen. Not actually, but I mean, science theoretically. Theoretically, it can happen. Yeah. And what I love about it is that. Where you know they they have the the spectrum open so wide because my remember there's uh you know different universes so even our universe plays on their universe so you could do anything and just say that it's just a different universe because they got they they have a, a portal gun that opens gates a gateway to different universes and different uh realities do they do they talk about that because uh, yeah you know, they, they were like the a, like a, it is like a thing that they I'm. Just, it's kind of funny, but they say it's actually true. They try to find, open up yeah. you know, portals to go through the different dimensions. So, bro, they go, there's all kinds of dimensions. There's a, a, a dimension where people are chairs and the chairs sit down on people. We are the furniture. There's a, there's, oh, there's, okay. there's a galaxy or a, a dimension where there's butts everywhere and inside the butts, you got little moles that live inside butts. Like, it's crazy. Like, 
they got uh, he, they opened up the wormhole to go to the Simpsons and they kill the Simpsons. Then they, they take DNA from them and try to mix them together, you know, bring them back. But inside the vial, he had cleaned it with a spit. So some of his DNA was in there. So it was like a mixture of the Simpsons and him. Like, dude, like that show. There's a world now. I don't want to scare you, Jay. But there's a universe and a world where everything is on the cob. Everything's on the cob. On the cob? Everything on the is cob. on the cob. The trees are on the cob. The plants are on the cob. There's birds on the cob. There's mountains on the cob. Mountains on the cob. On the cob. On the, on the cob. cob. The corn on the cob is on the cob. Yeah. <laughs> it, I was going to say about it. I, mean, I knew what that would, where that would go with you two. So I was like, you know what? Let me not, let me not say it's corn on the cob because I know. I know. <laughs> the corn on the cob was on the cob. Okay, exactly. It is hilarious because they're looking for like a, a, a they, they it, it, it obliterated a whole entire like galaxy so that, or uh, right. like planet so they're trying to go find a planet to live in and they go to that planet and it's like no get out of here we have to leave now why everything's on the cob it's like so you don't understand what happens when everything is on the <laughs> cob like everything was on the cob it's hilarious there's a planet that the sun's just screaming this is just, ah! the whole time the whole time and all the like the 12 hours of sunlight the sun is just ah! Uh, but uh, in a world, I mean, well, in a place where it's infinite universes, there's a place for everything. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, everything yeah. would exist. Yeah. So, but that's a great show. You definitely check it out. People watching this, check it out so we can talk about it. Um, continuing with Marvel. The Defenders trailer was released. Um, what do you guys think? Oh, man. I was, it blew my mind, honestly. I agree. It, and then I like how they all play up with each other. Like there are some of those shows that they were, you know, the character by itself it was good, but not that good. Yeah. But the way I saw that they played off of each other was yes. amazing. Their dynamic, yeah. together is great. Plus, I, I think it's gonna be a really good show. I was like, no, I just watched trailer not yeah. too long ago. I love it. I mean, well, of course, I like Daredevil. I like Jessica Jones. I still gotta watch a couple of the Iron Fist and um, Luke Cage. Luke Cage. I'm gonna get to it, but <laughs> but uh, I keep saying that. But from the trailer, the defenders, I'm a hundred percent. I know I'm gonna I watch, definitely that. Wanna watch that. Yeah. Just because I see the trailer, I already know it's good. I'm like, I know for a fact I'm, I'm gonna watch it. I can tell pretty much that I'm gonna like it. I already saw some of the scenes. I like dialogue already, so I, I know I'm gonna be on that one. But the other ones, I'm gonna have to. One thing I think about this one, the the hand. It's gonna be like off the chain because I don't know if you guys noticed that in every single, um, well, you guys haven't seen all the Marvel, you know, Netflix stuff I have, but in every single one, it's like the hand has like a different like faction, fra faction, a faction, yeah. 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 So, for example, in the Daredevil one, they're more hardcore, trying to like you know take over shit. Mm -hmm. In the um, Iron Fist one, it's more like they're trying to re recruit people. Kind of makes me feel like what the foot did in like the first in the, Ninja Turtle. Yeah. Although you know, the the foot is the parody of, <laughs> of the hand, you know. Mm. But there are more. You see what they did there? Yeah. So uh, I get it. <laughs> so is it, uh, in in Iron Fist? Should start one called the torso and yeah. tie it up, yeah. tie it up all together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, uh, and uh, you know, in, in Iron Fist is more like recruiting people. So in every every one, you know. You, you, you can see that it's like a different faction so I feel like this one's gonna bring it all together and yeah. then have like an ultimate nemesis mm -hmm. type deal I feel like like that's cool I like also how oh I'm waiting I know there's gonna be fight scenes between them because I already saw Iron Fist pu punch uh, Luke Cage in the yeah. face with his glow uh, yeah. fist that looked insane and I'm also wondering because in the Iron Fist not both of his fists. He didn't finish his training, so not both of his mm -hmm. fists were lit up. Only so one he still has a lot of training to do. So I, I'm wondering if, if in this one, he would learn how to make both of his fists glow, or yeah. do we still have to wait till he drops the second season? Hmm. That's question. <sighs> it's gonna get crazy with all these shows. Like the fact that they're only supposed to make one of each of these shows, and then it branched out to, you know, Daredevil being so popular. And Daredevil was. Great. Then releasing a second season, then off speaking, even The Punisher getting his own season, and Jessica Jones. I believe Jessica Jones has a second season coming out too. Uh -huh. She does. So it's. I would Jessica hate to Jones. be the, the one scheduling all those shows coming out. 
especially now with defenders. And then if defenders does great, then I'm sure they're going to do more defenders. It's going to be a lot of shows. Mm-hmm. I'm glad it's uh, Renaissance is back because uh, for a while the writing was terrible. Mm-hmm. We'll get into that another day. But um, I'm definitely we never really spoke about Daredevil, but you told me about Daredevil, I think, right? Yeah. And I watched it, and I'm going to tell you, I forced myself to go to bed. And I watched it. Yeah. Like I, it was that everyone, kind of show. Everyone that went off, I, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to sleep after Yeah. This. But I That's couldn't. exactly how it was. I couldn't, man. I was like, okay, I'm going to watch one more. And then I watched that one, and I couldn't. Like, It was like a, an addiction. Especially with the Kingpin. That was a Yeah. Great. Oh, oh, man. He God, played that a was so great. Good. That yeah. character was great, man. Yeah. You That's know who he is? That's, yeah. that's, that's Private Pile. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. From, um, that's exactly who that is. Yeah. <laughs> Goldwyn <with> Pile. <laughs> He's like, Pile! <laughs> That guy, man, he, I, it's the same guy from Full Metal Jacket. Yeah. I'm like, that's one of my favorite that. movies, too. Yeah, man. I'm like, he's just a good actor. The way he played that character. Oh, great. He was just like, the way, I don't know, it was something about the way he was acting. Like, he was just like. Even the way he spoke and everything, yeah, the like, way he carried himself, yeah. he, he, he actually like, like was something. Yeah, he became uh, that he character. He became that character. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely did. But then again, the, the, when they did that Ben Affleck uh, movie, the Daredevil movie. Oh. Uh, who was the, 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 who was the, uh, the villain in that? Oh, uh, the big guy. Oh crap! I just I was Colin like, Farrell. No, no. Oh, the, the, no, no, no. That, yeah, that was Bullseye. Bullseye. No, oh. that, <laughs> I forgot about Bullseye. Oh, oh so what was Duncan? I, I was something, trying to predict. Something <laughs> Duncan, the guy that played in the Green. Oh yeah, go ahead, Tim Clark. Duncan. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah, him. Yeah. I forgot about him. Yeah, I don't know. I was confused. I mean, the way he looks like because he's got a bald head and he's a big guy. But other than that, I don't know. Like if he. Not a lot of movies, but it's just yeah. Again, the, it wasn't a time where like comic book movies weren't taking as seriously as they're yeah. taking them now. Yeah, yeah. Now it's like Daredevil. Like that's everyone's oh, excellent. Completely off topic. Now that you just said that, it's kind of brought me back to something else I, I meant to bring up to you guys before we started. Is that you know they say how they did the same deal, Sony did the same deal. Or Sony did the deal with Marvel, how they can use Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah. They're doing or working on doing the same thing and bringing on the Fantastic Four. No, we yeah. just spoke about that, yeah. didn't we? Not. Yeah. Yeah. Last episode, we were talking about the Fantastic Four. How this yeah. one was so tough. Ta- oh my. Dude, so what they're gonna the do? They're gonna try to bring them to the MCU because at the end of the day, all the storyline that they're coming in, you know, that they're gonna be telling from here on out, the Fantastic Four have always been a key player. Yeah. And very important people to everything that's manifesting mm-hmm. in that universe. So they're going to try to bring him in. Hopefully, they will do an origin story because I feel like they don't need an origin you don't story. Need that's like doing an origin story for Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Uh, okay, I was yeah. about to say. You know, so I, I don't. I don't think they need origin story, but I feel like they should bring them in, and, and definitely because Hank Pym, Hank Pym, uh, Reed Richards, and. Um, yeah, just Hank Pym and Rick Richards. They 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 they're the you know really key players and all that with Doctor Strange. Also, you know what I'm saying? That's those guys are like three of the uh, of the six people in the Illuminati. Yeah, you know who they were. Yeah, the Illuminati is a, uh, like some of like the most OP people in, in the Marvel universe coming together and making like a small little clan. You know, it's like the super OP Avengers. They're called the Illuminati. Very really cool. But Black Panther's a part of that too. He is? Yeah. Yeah. But um I wonder then, yeah, if they make movies or they go T V. Um, no, I don't think they're gonna go. No, no, TV. not like a Netflix. No, I don't series. think they, I don't think they can go. I don't they're, think that'll work as well. No, I think they should do movies. I think they should do Fantastic Four sitcom. I don't think so. You think Four House that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you want to make me spit out the water? <laughs> you imagine that? Uh, oh my great. god! Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, he's serious. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he I mean, out. <laughs> who's cooking in the kitchen? <laughs> Johnny. He's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, but god. yeah, no, I mean, Fox needs to do something because the problem with these with these contracts that they have is that if they don't keep putting out the movie. Eventually, the contract is up, and they just have to give up the contract. So Fox has to either one, make a movie, take the take the chance, whether it's good or not, make the money back, or in before it runs out, sell it back to Disney, 
and make money that way, or just not do anything at all, and then it will automatically just go back to Disney eventually. Yeah. So they do have choices to make. The thing is that Fox wasn't hurting as bad as Sony was, although I think now people are starting to get, okay, these movies aren't that great. Like People still go out to see X-Men, but I think they're starting to realize, all right, it's not the same X-Men. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously, they, they changed it with Logan. Sheesh. But I mean, that's only one character. And Deadpool. Sorry. Yeah. But it's not the X Men. Like, that's a huge franchise that they got to get back on track. Yeah. Well, I feel like probably they're going to try to do that now with all the X Men coming forward, you know, trying to get it back on track with uh, the new, new mutants new and mutants. everything. I feel like they're going to. Try to like, yeah, because also there's there's a lot of like, uh, there's storylines that just the whole comic book, you know, new world just comes to an end. So I feel like they're gonna do that and, and just restart and tell like the new stories, you know. I hope so. We've set the switch with all this messed up timeline they have. Oh, yeah, they gotta stick to one timeline. Um, all right, so next on the agenda. Last podcast, we ended up talking about 2017 movies that are going to come out. We stopped at 2018. <coughs> so I'll run through this list. You guys tell me what you think. Are you excited for these movies? Not. First one, February 16th. Black Panther. Obviously, Gene's not here. Talk about Black Panther. Yeah, but for me, me, when I tell you, he's got a lot to say about it. I'm interested. I hope, I hope the Black Panther works. I, I mean, too. I did like him in Civil War, so I'm just hoping to stand alone. Marvel doesn't... I think he was overshadowed, or at least for my opinion, he was overshadowed by Spider-Man. Like, had Spider-Man yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not been in there, yeah. he, he would have been... The, he took away some airtime, yeah. definitely. Spider-Man was really good in that. Really good in, yeah. yeah, I agree. Um, March 16th, The Flash. I'm looking forward for that Yeah, movie. that looks good. I'm not really into the whole DC. But I'm really looking forward to for that particular movie because I'm I, I, I'm, a, I'm a Flash fan and I feel like they're gonna portray him right with what I've seen them do on uh, yeah Justice, the, the Justice League trailer, Justice League trailer yeah. yeah 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 I did like that I did like to it. me that was the best thing of the trailer the, yeah was the Flash it's like um, he was looking at them mm-hmm. that May fourth next year Avengers Infinity War I'm I'm always ready for that <laughs> doesn't even matter. We can start counting down right that, now. That's going to be so huge. Yeah. Huge. Huge. As some would say. <laughs> huge. Um, April 13th, the new Mutant Box. So, uh, I'm, I'm interested to see because I don't know anything really what they're yeah. going to do. I don't know any about what characters are going to be, what the characters are going to be. But I'm sure that's, I mean, we talked about it last time, but that's probably what they're going to bring in Cable and then Cable. Obviously, then after that, April 13th, June 1st is Deadpool 2. So, obviously, we already know that. He's so, gonna, be, so, are they going to introduce him in that new I would think so, because from what my understanding, the New Mutant Comics is where Cable was introduced. So, I'm sure there's a reasoning yeah, for this. Maybe that's how yeah, it's all playing. Yeah. Deadpool 2, of course, man. <laughs> that, uh, that little tidbit we got in the beginning of Logan. Of him uh, changing in the in the phone. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> hilarious. I want more of that. Um, I also hope they push it more because I feel like Deadpool one, they were kind of also trying to. Yeah, they were. They were testing scared. the water. Yeah, yeah, they were right. like, all right, it was shaky. This is the it. first time we're doing this. Let's not go overboard. Let's just. Yeah. But I think now. Now they see go full blown Deadpool. Yeah. I think Brian Reynolds has a lot to do with that too because oh, yeah. people were already used to him being that way. Yeah. So it's kind of. You know they were people already accepted him as mm-hmm. that, so it's perfect. They got that, and the guy was actually to me. I thought he did well, even in X Men Origins where people didn't really like it. I thought he did a good job playing that character. He did, and 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 that's why everyone was pushed for him to continue being Deadpool, except for not the way it played out in yeah Origins. Origins yeah. yeah, but uh, but yeah, that's the reason why everyone wanted him to do that because he played it so well. Um, and he's he just you know he I think he naturally has smart ass mouth like that mm-hmm. anyway. He does. So just it's kind of almost it fits like him himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, July. He's, he's basically just being Van Wilder. Yeah. 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 Exactly. He he's already like that. So. Uh, July six. I'm sure. Lou here is interested. Ant Man and the Wasp. July six. I'm 
Oh my God, I'm really excited. We haven't really spoke about the Ant Man. We haven't, no. Yeah, Ant Man was actually surprisingly <laughs> good. <laughs> that honestly, movie. that's what I thought. I thought it was going to be just one of my favorite. That's one of my favorite yeah. Marvel movies. I honestly thought the same thing. I said, like, really? Ant Man, what the oh, fuck is Ant Man going to do? Yeah. And I was like, what is Ant Man going to do? That's like, what I was oh, it's going to be Paul Rudd. I'm like, Paul Rudd can't be mighty. Like, I thought, like, mm-hmm. he could have yeah. been, but. Bro, like they, they, them people knew what the fuck they were doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, he showed his, he showed his range as an as an actor because like, I, mean, I like Paul Rudd. I like Paul Rudd too. As well, I just didn't com- see him doing and that. comedy yeah, and everything. Nobody saw him doing that. Yeah, I didn't. That's see. everyone was like, oh, okay, let's see. He's actually was in the Avengers too. No, was yeah, it Civil War? Civil War. War. Yeah, yeah, he was great in it. He was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah he fit in, 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 in all of them like so perfectly. I thought he was gonna be like overshadowed by yeah because look at all those but it's big because he, they have in there but it's because he plays it like he's like the underdog he's like yeah. he's like why am i here right now like, yeah he oh. said it and the way when he meets like captain america he's, he's so awkward about it like he's like i know you know a lot of i know you know a lot of super people i just want to say thanks for thinking of me like <laughs> i'm like that, that's awesome he's like yeah because he does know a lot of like you know super power people that would fit into that situation and, and, and just disrag yeah. people but so now he goes with the little guy, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I actually appreciate it. Well, because his power is so unique, unique. and, and yeah. powerful at the same time. Yeah. Not even, I mean, that's that, they didn't even know that he can go big, so. Yeah, yeah. No, nobody knew till, but that's all because of the new suit he got. Apparently, you know, in the movie, he was tinkering with the suit a bit and, you know, Hank Pym told him not to do that because you don't want him to go subatomic. But I, I, I'm pretty, you know, they weren't, they went in, they, they didn't play around with it. So I guess that's, you know, what we saw in, uh, in Civil War was the product of them doing that. So I, I'm, I'm honestly looking really, really forward to seeing part two. Yeah. Now I'm curious to see that. where they put it in the time, like, because I, I remember correctly, um, Ant-Man came out before Civil War. Yeah. 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 Right? But it was set to be released afterwards, and then they changed it. Oh, um, so originally was it was originally it was going to come out after, after Civil War, mm-hmm. and then they changed it. Now Infinity War comes out May fourth, July sixth, Ant Man comes out. So I wonder if it's gonna how they're gonna do it if it plays into continuing playing with Infinity War, or is it gonna be like on its own, like maybe before this happens, like before Infinity yeah. War happens? Because how think, can you have Infinity War going on and then have a solo movie? Marvel has a. Uh, they're pretty good at keeping the stories together, yeah. you know. So I'm I'm assuming that some uh, it's probably gonna be continuation, but yeah, who knows? But I don't I don't think that they. Do you think it'll pick up right after like Ant Man more or less? Like no, I, I think it's gonna pick up after. It's, uh, it's after gonna pick Infinity up Infinity War. War. Yeah, I think so. And you know what? In Infinity War, I wouldn't be surprised if he's in there too. I was thinking oh, that I'm too. Sure he, I thought he would be I'm in there. Sure too. he is. Yes. Uh, but I think it's gonna pick up because we already missed a lot of things. Marvel is not one to go back and recap or go in between in the meanwhile, you know. Yeah, they haven't. So they haven't. if they haven't if they haven't shown us how he got the giant man suit, I don't think they're gonna bother doing that later on. So I feel like they're just gonna pick up from and where after the Infinity off. War, yeah. yeah. It's gonna pick up after Civil War, it's gonna pick up after Infinity War. Maybe they might you know, in them talking, you're like, Oh well, you remember what happened, you know, when we did this uh-huh. and by you know, mention what happened in between Infinity War, how he got the giant man suit, but I don't think they're gonna go back to, you know? That actually brings up, I just I just thought about this now, since Infinity War is technically broken into two parts, right? So the first part of it is what we assume is Thanos going around getting the gems. Getting the gems. So he might not even come to Earth yet. Huh. No, I think he did will. They, did they didn't make it to one movie? They still broke it up? Yeah, yeah. Still I think he will get to Earth because we got two of the two. I think what two of the gems are there? The mind, the the mind yeah, stone is is here, and so is the the soul, the time, the time gem, which is Doctor Strange has the time gem in, right. inside his right. uh, so, and Vision has the, and, and Vision has the mind stone. So there's good two stones are here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yes, come here. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he does. But that's the question: Will he? I feel like. Will it be like? He gets here, and then that's when part two starts. Yeah, no, I think he's gonna get here. I think he's gonna go. They're gonna show. Well, this is just what I think should happen. Is you know, so there's gonna be two movies. The first movie is just him getting all the gems 
no matter where they are, if he ends up mm-hmm. going to Earth, I think Earth will be the last stop because that's where he's. I feel like he's going to get the most static from. You know, because they got the Avengers, they got everybody else trying to fight with him. I, I feel like by the time he, yeah, and Sharma, <laughs> he has to come here trying to Sharma. Who's gonna go come to Earth and tell Sharma? Like before I kill everybody, let me tell Sharma. <laughs> so you know, I feel like this is gonna happen in the first one. He's gonna start getting all the all the stones. You know what I'm saying? And the Guardians are gonna get a whiff of what's going on because uh, they already know what's kind of. The overall what was good, yeah. what was happening, you know, they got these stones and they're powerful and the whole Thanos plot because Gamora. Well, I'm sure they're probably, they will most likely be the first ones to interact with him. Yeah. So then from there, Thor is going to find out more what's going to happen. Because remember, he said he's looking for vision. So I have a feeling in Ragnarok, he's going to, you know what I'm saying? I think Ragnarok is going to let us know a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because also the whole mistress death yeah. issue and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So I feel like. Ragnarok is gonna tie in a whole lot of shit, and it's gonna let us know a lot. And then from there forward, then Thanos, or maybe Thanos is gonna get some stones during Ragnarok. Who the hell really knows? You know what I'm saying? Because they're saying that they think that uh, Hela has one of the stones, the last stone she has. It. Yeah, that's what. That's what they're. Yeah, and it does kind of look. That, I mean, how does she? Yeah. Destroy. Um... Exactly the soul gem. So I think because her power is that she takes in the soul. So I'm assuming you know she has a soul gem. So he'll probably get it from her on this one. You know what I'm saying? That's probably one of the end credits. I feel them two meeting up, or you know what I'm saying? Right. And then in the the next one, the 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 first Infinity War, he's gonna get all the gems, and they're gonna find out what's gonna happen. You know, everybody's gonna be on point. Of, okay, he's coming. This is happening. And then the 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 second Infinity War. That's when he. Is gonna put it all together and try to use it. That's when they have to really stop them. When is all? When are these coming out? Then these are coming out in June. Cause I'm like, they need to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> these are all. These are all. We're talking about 2018. 2018. Uh, so the Infinity War comes out May. 2018. Yep. Ant Man June 6. 2018. Um, yep. Jesus man. Now this one I had no idea what's even on here. October fifth, twenty eighteen. October fifth. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. They, that that they just put that up now. I have Spider-Man an Spider Man name. Yeah, I was. I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. But no, they've been saying for a while that they're gonna give Venom his own solo movie. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's been out there for a little bit. That'll be interesting to see. That's I wonder if. I doubt it. I don't think they're working with Disney at all in this one because, I think all they were trying to get for was the rest for Spider Man. Whether that includes, maybe that's why they're trying to come up with their own solo venom. Maybe yeah, to have their own thing. Yep. Um, November November second, twenty eighteen, Dark Phoenix, which we discussed last podcast. Um, December twenty first, everyone's favorite superhero, Aquaman. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know he's I know he's tops on my list. So they're they're gonna have to pull a rabbit out of the hat for this to and work. It's DC. And because they're known for making good movies. Yeah. But the reputation. I like know. I cannot believe they're trying to tackle this right now. Like Aquaman to work. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work out. I guess we'll have to see in Justice League. Yeah. Which even in what I see in Justice League, like how is he gonna fit into it? Like I guess maybe because his powers are supposed to be that like, he's also strong. Um but then, why do you need Aquaman? Like, why not another? Why not another character? Yeah, no, this like, unless they're gonna make the plot happen somewhere in the water, and then oh, we need Aquaman, which I hope they don't do. Make a plot just for that. Oh no, someone's there. He goes, guys. Someone's being held hostage at Sea World. You're gonna drown You're going drown. I mean, down today. Although I do love the the way he looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like definitely looks great on what's his name, um, Momoa. Momoa definitely looks great, and I can totally see him playing the part of Aquaman. But other than that, I don't, I don't know. know. I'll tell you this: I saw the Wonder Woman trailer, and I, I'm a, the, the trailer looks good. The trailer looks good. The one that shoot, it might look better. I don't want to say that's the, the thing. Looks like, than... Honestly, none of the, I don't think any of the trailers from DC ever looked bad. Yeah, like it's even the movies. even the the movie we're not supposed to say BBS. Yeah, I try not to bring it up. Even that trailer was okay. The one we should like it wasn't too bad. 
Um, but Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad had a great trailer, yeah. especially that second trailer. Bro, I wanted to see that movie so bad. And then I, I still have yet to see it. But trailers don't I'm not, always. I'm not, pushing um, you. I'm not pushing you to go yeah. see that. No. But yeah, Aquaman, we'll see. I mean, is it as easy as shooting fish in a barrel? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> had to throw that one in, right? <laughs> Freaking Aquaman. And um, then uh, December 14th, Spider Man animated creature. Starring Miles Morales. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. the Miles Morales storyline. Plus, he's Black Tino. He is Black Tino. Yeah. But His um, mom I guess. Puerto Rican is uh, African American. I like that. I mean, it's pretty cool. That it's about time they show some diversity over here, not all yeah. kinds of lily white fucking superheroes. Give me some niggas and chicos. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, like the automated, the animated features. I mean, one thing that DC does great, those animated movies. I mean, yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, Red uh, Red Hood or Red yeah. Mask or what is it? Is that the one that was a cartoon and, and mm-hmm. the Red Hood was going around? Yeah, I actually saw that. It came on HBO or something yeah, like that. It's actually, really good. Yeah, it was good. I a lot of them. Are, a lot of their animated ones are good. Why don't they make the the, the movies like the animated? Who who writes them? A genius. A genius. Well, whoever writes it does a better job than yeah. the writers. Well, it's exciting. I don't know. I like the way Wonder Woman looked on the trailer. I, I'm, that's it. I am excited it's for Wonder Woman. But then easy. again, so, it makes it easy. Yeah, Honestly, like, Wonder Woman to me looks floppy. Floppy? It does. Yeah, it looks floppy. It looks like. I don't know why they're pushing yeah, it. I mean, first. to me, it looks a lot. It, it reminds me of. Um, Captain America, the the first one. It, it, honestly, it does. Not oh, it one. does kind of remind me of Captain. Because you know what? When I looked at it, I kind of got the sense like Captain yeah, America yeah. because it looks like that same time period. Yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah. Period. To like, me, it, it looks like uh, Wonder Woman. We already seen all the best parts of the movie. We may have, yeah. Like, and they have in DC, which has is what a, they say they what they did with uh, Suicide Squad. Like yeah. they showed all the good parts in the movie, and that was it. I feel like we we're receiving all the good parts. I don't know, man. And I don't know. Honestly, like I lost all hope for DC already. Yeah, man. I mean, if they do something good, good. Surprise like, me. If the movie comes out great, I'll shut up. I'll be like, oh my god, it's amazing. But honestly, I don't have no hope for none of the movies. And I'm gonna go the watch movie, them. The movies don't get me excited. Just surprise. Well, I'm. A, I don't know. I'm not gonna go watch it off really yeah. like I do like Marvel movies. Yeah. I go, go watch, watch it blindly. Yeah. I yeah. go watch blindly. Right yeah. Yeah. When we went to see Ant Man. Yeah, we, we were we happy. were like, what? Well, whatever. Like, okay. I guess we're gonna watch it. Yeah. yeah, because you know what? Marvel has built up a situation where we kind of have faith in what they do. Yeah. Whereas DC, and at this point, it's like it's the exact opposite. Yeah. We like we don't know what the hell they, they do. They, they, I don't think they do. They give the only movie I feel like they overhyped was Civil War, but it's not. I don't feel like he was overhyping. I feel it's just like it showing off all the characters. Yeah. I thought Civil War was really good. Really Civil, Civil, Civil War was good. But uh, like when you went to watch it, I feel like we... You had already seen all yeah. of it from the... Uh, I didn't read it. Well, from the yeah, trailers. Well, I the learned, trailers yeah. the one thing I learned from... Uh, yeah, Avengers Age of Ultron? Oh, Age of Ultron is... The same thing. They stopped watching, watching the trailers. Two trailers? Yeah, I, two trailers, started, I stopped. Yeah. They released it's so really, many trailers. Yeah, Age of Ultron went over. Like yeah. that movie we had seen before yeah. we went to it. Yep, yeah. we did. I agree. And I learned movie. after that, after Age of Ultron, even now, like two trailers, that's it. Yeah. I cut off. Yeah. And it's I, like don't, I stay away from like all their IG posts. Like I'll just pass it. Yeah. Like, I don't even want to see it. I'll, I'll see it when I go watch it. But yeah. Yeah, but Age of Ultron overdid it. Yeah, overdid it with the trailers. Um, so yeah, that is the that is 2018. We'll save 2019 for the next podcast. Fantastic. And yes. I have here up to 2020, so. That's my vision. I saw it's yours. I saw, um, I was looking it up and I saw the thing about Fantastic Four, and they're thinking that might come out in 2020. Yeah. And I saw that they were trying to work on a deal with, with um, mm-hmm. first they thought, it, apparently it might already be done, according to what they were talking about. The deal might already be done, which hopefully, I don't know what they're going to do, but let's Ooh. see. Fantastic Four was a, let's see. A really, can I say something? Fantastic Four was worse than Batman vs. Superman. I haven't seen Fantastic Four. Um, Fantastic Four yeah. was worse than Batman vs Superman. Yeah, I think so. It ain't even close. They're both they both bad. Are they but both that movie was bad. At least yeah. Batman stuck to a certain type yeah. of. You know, it was bad, but it stuck to what it was. This shit was 
revamped in a manner that it just oh. went from bad to worse. You thought it was gonna, you thought something was gonna change and oh it was gonna be, like like it was course, gonna be good, and then you just like, I mean, you just drop off. It was bad. I've it was heard, bad. I've heard there's people out there who have taken that movie um, and edited it in a way where it's actually better than. The, the original look, movie. Look, to me, that wouldn't be hard. Bro, to do. that you, would not be hard to do because all you got to do is do something different. Like, you you could write a whole movie and voice over with Barney, like That's throwback with Barney, and <laughs> it would be the best Barney movie ever. Barney is so throwback. <laughs> it is. Barney is a throwback. Bro, like that movie was really bad. It was bad. It was bad. I'll watch Batman. But the the, the beginning of the beginning of the movie was amazing. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it was gonna be good. It was so good. Like the yeah. beginning, if, yeah. like the the first twenty minutes. Even I, the trailer though, that the trailer for that movie. Looked, yeah. I I when I was watching it, I remember thinking, oh, like it, they kind of were going with like a horror genre type in the trailers, like oh because think about it, yeah, these people are going through these transformations. Which kind of like you know like the fly, yeah, like those kind of movies, and wasn't I believe the director who did that actually was, was the one who did. I'm not quite sure. I don't know, but I, I can I can movie. see I can see where what you're talking about yeah. because they kind of did went into a thing like that, the same type of thing that the fly did. It, it didn't did whatever it was it didn't work. Was the, fly worked, the fly worked. The fly worked. Of course. Not, not, not. This movie was not fly. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least this podcast we were able not to talk about BBS. Even though we did talk about BBS, <laughs> we um, mentioned it. <laughs> I tried. To, I tried to avoid it. I was just was like, yo, that movie. You just, it's hard to avoid. It really is. No movie bad. But you want to compare something to the worst? Sounds like Hitler. That's the first thing you pass in your mind. Whenever you think of something evil, you think Hitler. Yeah. Whenever you think like something the, bad, I think of freaking BBS. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good place to stop. I mean, everything else I really want to talk about with Dwayne is here because he brought up a topic. So for next podcast. We will be talking about Guardians of the Galaxy because we all have seen it hopefully yes. by then. I'm watching it tomorrow. Yeah, we're we'll watching it tomorrow. Friday. We're watching it Friday. We need, um, to, we need to get tickets. You think we should buy tickets? Pre order? Probably. I'm going to talk to Dwayne now and see what he says. Uh, but yeah, that's a good place to stop then. Heard. Episode three. I just might watch it two or three times because I just might go watch if it's really good. I just might go watch it next Wednesday morning, just like a couple again? fresh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You know what I do? We'll probably watch it again, like we always do. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today. Right. Again, if you like our videos, please share, like, subscribe, share us on Facebooks. And if you hate us, just subscribe anyway. Yeah, subscribe so anyway. So you can hate on and us. Leave a comment saying that you hate us. Should stop talking about BBS. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Hopefully, our audio will be better this time. Clearly, because you can't see us right now, our, our vision, <laughs> video stopped. Video, yeah. But we continued on audio. Um, definitely next time, we'll have the whole shebang. I'm doing it little by little, where one day we'll have video, and not the audio, but the audio and the video. Yeah. Hopefully, one day we'll have the audio and the video all together, <laughs> all working, yeah, all working English. like a Rolex. It's kind of like the Death Star. It's not. It's not built yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not there. All right, guys. Later.